Okay, so in this episode, I'll start introducing and implementing some of the material I've already gone over with you in previous episodes, while introducing one or two new things, starting with the creation of different variables. In this episode, I will mostly be focusing on charm, wisdom, power, and the creation of a visual clock system slash energy system. Now, to prevent variables from being undefined like you see with age and hair, it's recommended that you create a story and niche passage. The story and niche passage is a special passage that is activated before the player even sees the very first passage in the timeline. As you can see, I not only have the beginning variables I mentioned, but also I have unique variables that I that don't have numerical values. Instead, it's valued is labeled true or false. I'll show you as we progress how that's useful in building up your character's stats. Now, before we go too far, let me explain this other special passage being used on the right here, story right sidebar. There are some special passages that require less work, but also have less flexibility like passage header and passage footer. Although you probably could extend the functionality the same way. Now this episode is a little less beginner, a little more intermediate than the previous episodes because we will briefly be touching on JavaScript and style sheet. But if that intimidates you too much, don't worry. I'll leave the following in the description below for easy copy and paste ability. And won't really go into significant detail on these. But more or less, the JavaScript helps create the functionality of the story right sidebar, amongst other cool tricks. And as the name betrays, the style sheet is more in control of the style of your game slash story, or in this case, just the right sidebar. Once you've pasted all that in, then you can just play with the story right sidebar like you would any other passage, or I guess more specifically, kind of like the story caption. So back to what I was discussing earlier, I've made some small describers next to activities that indicate what stats it may affect. For example, workout. As you can see, different variables were affected after said event. Let's break apart what actually occurred. An arms selection variable arms was set to true, and a passage was invisibly included. But true doesn't by itself mean anything to... so why did it do so much? Why, why did so much occur? Well, in the power boost passage that was invisibly included, not only was it saying that the power would go up one, but also stated if arms was used, or in this case true, that strength would also go up. And in the lower area, a certain amount of time and energy was used for this activity. Same can be seen with the other activities, but what if you want your character to be more human-like and need to rest? Well, you see the hour and energy? Looks like everything has been reset and a new day is starting. Let's see how that occurred using our last special passage of this episode called Passage Done. This is more of a behind the scenes passage and has a twin, twin whom does basically the opposite. But the passage checks after every decision or passage transference for whatever you want it to check for. In this case, simply, I just want the, want the passage to check for time or amount of energy the player has used. When those requirements have been met, it uses the go to function to transport the player, in this case, to sleep. And as you can see, there's a process I send the player through to successfully create a thorough reset of the day. Hopefully, this none of this was too confusing. Uh, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. Uh, I was planning on adding some more demonstration material about like creating your own health bars and stuff. But I foresaw this getting pretty long, which it looks like it's getting close to 10 minutes. So I was not wrong, but uh, look forward to that in the next episode. Uh, till then, see you on the flip side.